Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with more of The Good Place. This is Season 4, Episode 9, and including this one, we only have five episodes left. Very curious how they're going to wrap all this up. Uh, last episode was such a doozy, uh, the big twist where they were able to win. They were able to prove that humans can improve, but Jen decided that meant that Earth was too difficult of a place for that to happen, and so she decided to start existence all over again from the very beginning, trying to wipe out all humans. I uh, was going to press the button until Janet took it from out from, out from under her, uh, hit it within all the... They're playing like cop potato with it, with all the uh, <laughs> with all the different Janets. We got to see Disco Janet, as you can see right there. Um, but yeah, uh, Michael and Eleanor's big idea is to wake up Chidi, see if he has an idea of how to treat all these humans other than just wiping them out. Um, but yeah, we're going to see uh, the reunion between Eleanor and Chidi Chidi, the Chidi that has the memories of her as his girlfriend, his someone he loves. So yeah, uh, excited to see how this episode plays out. I love how bad Janet's still on. Both All the bad Janets are still on their phones. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm excited to continue. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, we're going to get started. Yeah. His psyche is like a giant bowl That's a lot. of M&M peep chili. <laughs> chili, in the right order. you put the Maybe peeps in. The beginning, a full factory Here we go. What? Did Jason just like start spelling it? We've never seen her... Building something. Looks like he has a tummy ache. Oh, cool. GD. What? Chidi Anagonye. I have a presentation. Here's the syllabus. Take one and pass them Oh on. my god. My lecture will take approximately 55 minutes. Let's begin, shall we? <laughs> In conclusion. Oh my god. One Every problem has an answer. If you just read enough books and think hard enough, you can figure out the answer to any question. I know you're really smart, but that sounds wrong. <laughs> Here's a perfect example. I have to ask, has Chitty always been so thoughtful? Ever since he was a thoughtful. Child, I'm sure you've heard about his first great lecture. Oh no, not that old story again. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, go ahead. A long time <laughs> go ahead. Emeka and I would I'd argue that say Theoretical physics presents bigger questions than philosophy. He <laughs> just laughed at her. You really think that? Should I switch to physics? <laughs> so, Should I switch? Obviously, my parents loved you. I'm so glad. We have to break up. Uh, wait, wait, the fork what? in the. I, I've been feeling this way for a while now. This work is a design. <laughs> Tangled web of inscrutability. In the fun, grad students will analyze this for centuries way. No, in the Unabomber way. <laughs> um, I'll write my way out of them. There is a great mind at work in here, but where is the heart? Where are the guts? So he's gonna have to take that lesson to heart uh, when week. he wakes up. Sorry. She was brilliant. The boots. Funny. I the boots. Maybe she was the answer. I swear, sometimes it is literally impossible to be your friend. You're incapable of making a single decision. <sighs> Chidi, I'm here to on. torture you. Unless you'd be more comfortable out here. Oh. Immediately. <laughs> Jason's face. Janet knows the answers to all the questions in the universe. All of them. The answers. Uh, I mean, which answer do I want? <laughs> Something profound, obviously, shouldn't be trivial. Ugh, I can't. Uh, what's the biggest fish? The whale shark. Cool. <laughs> cool. I'll have better questions later. If you'd like to get us a present, we're registered at me. <laughs> registered at me. I, I think I need your help. Like, how can you just make a decision this big? Chidi, here's the thing with stuff. You can look at a problem from every angle. Here's the thing with stuff. Yourself I mean, where I'm from, most things blow up eventually. So I learned <laughs> that when something dope comes along, you gotta lock it down. Well, I never thought I'd ever be able to get married. I thought I was too old. I'm infinity. But <laughs> strange things happen in the afterlife. I'm infinity. <laughs> Meet your soulmate, Guan Yin. Tahani. Kara. Tahani. Esmeralda, you don't bring knives to a friendly game night. I mean, who does that? 
to prepared. Kitty, I must away and tend to my ravens. I must away. <laughs> well, you never know what'll happen at game night. <laughs> How do you have the confidence to just swoop in and so elegantly take charge of a whole? Group? All these lessons are Honestly, coming together. The confidence comes from failure. I've thrown my fair share of disastrous gatherings. You're a philosophy professor, right? Any chance you'd want to grab a drink and talk about ethics? It's a subject I've recently needed to learn about immediately. <laughs> <Sounds great. laughs> recently awesome. needed to learn about By immediately. Way, I wasn't cheating. This has been fun, as always. Yeah. Uh, what was... Uh, why did you... Who was it? Who was it? Okay. It was me, weirdo. <laughs> Eleanor, I, I have a soulmate. That moment? Woof, that's too much to put on an eight-year-old. I kind of wish cute little Cheaty just got to be a kid, rather than a miniature professor trying to solve all the world's problems. You are unbelievable! I don't know what I did to deserve you. Oh. I'm all yours. At least until something better comes along. For me. You've pretty much topped out. <laughs> oh. What an episode. You sure you want to do this? I finally make up my mind about one damn thing and you try to talk me out of it. <laughs> if soulmates do exist, they're, they're not found. They're made. Mm. People meet, they get a good feeling, and then they get to work building a relationship. Like your parents. Yeah, it wasn't my logic or my presentation it was the feeling they got watching me this scared little kid telling them that he needed them it convinced them to go to counseling i never knew they went to counseling <laughs> yeah kids are idiots if they knew how the <laughs> stuff their folks were up to they'd lose their minds <laughs> <laughs> turns out life isn't a puzzle that can just be solved one time and, and it's done you wake up every day and you solve it again. <laughs> what a time to learn. Right before. Can you give me a second? <laughs> so, for the past 300 years, have I been super annoying? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't Not say super. no. <laughs> um, well, yes. thank you. We were wondering if you could do your cheaty thing and um, find us the answer. Let's get to work. Can you give me one second? Uh, hey, uh, Janet, can I have my note, please? I think it might be some of the best writing I've ever done. What? <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> there is no answer, but the answer is Eleanor. Oh, Freaking cheaty. That was an amazing episode. Oh, oh my god. So these last two episodes, this is what this... I feel like everything is culminating. Everything is coming to a head. Everything the show has been the first three seasons and half of the fourth season is just building to these last few episodes and the payoff is so good just ah uh, and i mean this episode was amazing um i didn't realize until editing that the start of the episode with baby cheaty his parents said his name and like he couldn't decide if he liked it so he got a stomach ache as a freaking baby freaking cheaty ah uh, but yeah i agree that was the best writing he's ever done there is no answer and I love the pause before he flips the other other side open, but Eleanor is the answer. Oh, he's so in love, and yeah, I mean, I'm glad that with all the memories from all his lives and afterlives that he seems to be this, like, more enlightened being. Uh, Michael asked how he was, and he's just like, I'm doing good, man. Uh, he's kind of become like Janet in a sense, like, with each reboot she gets smarter, gets more new abilities. But with the humans, they were always wiped with each reboot until now. Um, so, Chidi has 800-something lives, 300 
uh, afterlives, 300 years, 300 something years of being annoying or alive. Um, and he's come to this idea that there is no singular answer. I'm sure he'll find an answer to this afterlife debacle, uh, save humanity. But like, take five seconds to make out with Eleanor. Like, she misses you so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, all of his life he thought that he found the answer and that's why his mom and dad stay together. And right before his mind, his he got rebooted and uh, he had that heart to heart with Michael and he realized that it wasn't about finding the logical answer. It was about showing the uh, his parents uh, why um, how much he needed them to be together and how much they loved each other and yeah after hundreds of years ex of experience he finally understands there is no answer and then as soon as he all of this comes together he realizes there is no answer he's immediately asked what's the answer to this ridiculous impossible problem that we have to solve and I'm actually really mad because this show doesn't come back until the second week of January. We have like a month and a half break. Ugh, I need to know what happens. I mean, we've got four episodes left. Come on. I mean, his answer, his personal answer to his own life is it ties back to Eleanor no matter what. But does that somehow tie into his answer for how to solve the problem of humanity and afterlife? Um, I don't know how that works but i feel like it has to be connected somehow like this conundrum um yeah way of love and connection being some way integral to the afterlife and oh we got so many great callbacks this episode uh really glad we got to see uzo again chidi's best friend and like see how he was always there in chidi's life um very very cool thing we got to we got to see a lot of uh like things that we knew happened but like from different perspectives or things that we didn't know happened just we saw different perspectives on scenes that we knew existed uh for instance um when michael first uh woke up chidi and he actually tried to like soften his torture of chidi by like making some decisions for him uh he's like oh do you want to have this place like this meeting outside like do you like it better out here or do you want to go inside but he makes the decision for him to go inside gets him a freaking fridge that can tell um, like just create a breakfast for him so that she doesn't have to use the time to ex to decide. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> uh, of course the torture came later. But uh, yeah, it was great to see all these flashbacks. Like Chidi talking to Jason after he got uh, he and Janet got married for the first time, and like he was just gathering all this knowledge from from Jason, from Tahani, uh, from Eleanor, from Michael, just. Uh, Tahani was just funny because uh, the game night um, Esmeralda his freaking soulmate back then was like oh like bring a knight to a, uh, a knife to us a, uh, a game night and like I must away to take care of my ravens and uh, Tahani winds up telling him that she has the confidence to keep moving forward because she failed over and over and over again um I mean, that's, that feels like something pretty big in, for Tahani to admit, too, actually. So, uh, yeah, so many details I loved about this episode, like the editing. In one scene, Uzo is saying how impossible it is, and it cuts to him in another scene, finishing that sentence, to be your friend, and that's the scene where we see him, where we see Chidi die. Um, so, yeah, those two scenes cut together. It's impossible to be your friend just cut together so well and then that argument with eleanor you are unbelievable i have no idea what i did and then it cuts to him being saying like to deserve you like in a very soft and tender way oh just what a great episode what so well done um and then his talk with michael the idea that soulmates are made that hit home too and if you think about it that way eleanor and chidi are 200 reboots in the making they've put in the work so oh man uh other little details i love that jason was just spilling his drink for the entire episode that's such a jason thing to do i mean it's not that jasony but like his just his ridiculousness is very jasony um and like he was about to drink ditch water like that that was a drink that 
he was going to offer Eleanor and think that she might want. Um, we also got to see Janet materializing something, um, and we got to see what that looks like for the first time. It's like a bluish glow. Um, and yeah, there was actually a this reboot where Chidi's soulmate was Tahani, so she's been everybody's soulmate. Uh, that's really fun. But all of this, this episode, it was just building up Chidi to be the best version of himself, this amalgamation of all of the experiences he's been through. And yeah, this is the Chidi who might actually move past all of his neuroses and just be who this universe needs him to be in this final, most important moment. Uh, and I can't wait to see what the last four episodes have in store for us. If you guys want to watch the full reaction though, you can check out Patreon in the link in the description below. We will be back in January to finish up the series. Cannot wait for that to happen, um, for, the, for that episode to air. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye, friends.